changed that to joined with Keevan Ajago. Keevan, big day full of news. Uh, Connor Ben, Chris Eubank Jr. Connor Ben has tested positive for a banned substance. Uh, first of all, reaction to that? Yeah, crazy. Um, unfortunate for boxing, for British boxing. It, it needed a fight like this, especially with, you know, like AJ and Fury not fighting each other. It, it needed a big fight domestically. Um, a lot of history behind it. And yes, and I don't want to throw too much shit on, on Conor Ben. Um, but he failed the drug test and said it, it is what it is. The fight isn't going ahead of up and told and it shouldn't go ahead. Um, but yeah, there's no there's no room for, for drugs in boxing, is there? Absolutely. As it stands, time of recording, there is no official cancellation announcement on it. Um, all we've seen is a statement saying the fight will continue and go ahead. But in the last few minutes, the British Board of Control um, announcement has come out saying they prohibit the event and the fight from going ahead. Um, but we are still yet to hear from Matchroom and Sourland in terms of an actual official cancellation. Um, you just put on Twitter saying you'll step in, no problem at all, you'll fight you, Bank Junior. Let's talk about that. Yeah, listen, send me a contract. If the numbers make sense and um, if it's able to be done, I'd, I'd jump in there and have a tussle with him on on a Saturday night. Um, it's actually funny because both you, Bank and Ben, Asked me for sparring for this fight, um, and I, obviously I'm preparing for my own fight, so I turned I turned them both down. Um, but yeah, that's not I jump in there, not not a problem. Um, Saturday night and save the show. What, uh, what weight would you be walking around at on Saturday? I would make a one sixty limit, no problem. Yes, I mean, he, yeah, it, it, I mean, Eubank would make one sixty. He was coming in at one fifty, one fifty seven for this. So, I would, I would, I'd just come down to one sixty. No problem. Fantastic. Um, how realistic is that? Have you spoken to Eddie? Have you spoken to the team? Could uh, it be? It, listen, it's no. I think Eddie will probably see this and see and be like, I don't know. He he have his thoughts on it, but I haven't spoke to my team. Um. I put the tweet out there. I'd, I'd obviously seen that the, the British Boston uh, Board of Control, um, I've seen their statements. So I, I said, listen, it, I think it's unfortunate for the fighters that are prepared for this fight. Do you know what I mean? Your Ellie Scotneys, your Felix Cashes, and and whoever else is on the show. So, um, I mean, they've probably been in camp for a very long time. So it'd be very sad if they if they can't. Um, which I I doubt they will. I mean, let let the show go ahead. But um, if it if it was needed saving and um, Eubank what needed of a, a a dance partner for Saturday night, I'm I'm ready. Talk to me a little bit about the um, drug that Conor Ben was tested positive for. Do you know much about it? It's to boost testosterone uh, when taken by a male. And he had a doctor or a physician who was prescribing him this and he specialises in testosterone levels and increasing those. Um, do you know much about this drug itself? I don't know a lot about it. I don't know. No, I don't. Um, it's why, funny. why would Connor need to take this at this stage? I mean, he's, what, 25 years old, something like that? You know, mid-20s, let's say? I mean, I'm going to be very bold here. 90% of fighters are on drugs. Test everyone. Test everyone. Every single fighter steps foot in the ring because, as of as a fighter myself who sac has sacrificed so much for this sport, um, we put our life on the line to get in there and, and entertain other people, um, and you don't need fighters using drugs, um, to enhance their, their performance. That it's a dangerous sport as it is, and seeing this this testosterone guy. I, I'm not too sure if you have you seen his Instagram. Um, uh, I've, apparently, everything's been shut down now. So, well, I've, there's a couple of things I've been sent through, but there's a lot of high level fighters that he has in his bio that he's been working with. Your Tyson Furies, and I'll, I'll not I'll not mention anyone else, but people like Tyson Fury that that he's he said he's he's been working with. So. I'd like to I'd like to know how they're getting away with it. Um, if he has been working with them and um, and other fighters that he has been working with that 
you would just you would say that yeah they're on drugs you know what i mean so um and anyone that he has been working with should be pulled up in question by the board do you know what i mean that there's evidence there to show that he's he has publicly said that he's worked with these fighters um it's been on his in, on his social media platform um on his website so there should be action taken against them fighters as well um because boxing's too much of a dangerous sport to for there not to be and people shouldn't be allowed to cheat do you think there'd be a lot more uproar especially from the match from camp if it was Eubank Jr who had tested positive I think so yeah because he's the bigger guy he's um obviously he's he's the natural heavier guy um so if he tested positive um I, I don't want to say that yeah because Eubank was moving up in weight that he needed an extra advantage because that was his choice that was his team's choice but um I don't know I don't know I think there maybe would have been a, a bigger uproar um but equally both of them should if whoever feels a drug test deserves the consequences which now I hope in some way that we see this B sample and it clears him. If not, any fighter that any fighter that feels a drug test should be banned and banned for life. Boxing is a dangerous sport. People lose their life in the ring, um, and there is no room for for cheating in, in boxing. You said earlier you feel there's probably ninety percent of fighters on drugs on performance enhancing drugs. Have you ever seen or heard, you've been in boxing a long time, have you seen or heard anybody doing it or actively looking to do it without naming names? I'm not actively... I don't think I've actively seen or, like, seen anyone doing it or look in question to do it, but, I, I mean, you know yourself in boxing, nothing's a secret, nothing's a secret, and people talk... And yeah, I've heard of a lot of fighters using drugs and cycling out of the system and and whatnot, and using diff and suddenly working with coaches that have been known for letting their athletes use drugs. So, um, yeah, I mean, in in boxing, nothing's a secret. So I have heard of of certain fighters um being brought up in question um about using drugs. Yeah, and the last question from me, Kevin. Chris Eubank Jr. come out and said, yeah, he knows about the failed drug test with Conor Ben. He still wants to proceed and fight. If it was yourself in that position, you know, money and financial and business aside, would you step in that ring and fight? My pride and ego would, would, would want me to, yeah. But being a smart fighter and a, a smart man and having the right team around me, I'd be advised not to because money comes and goes, profile comes and goes. Your life doesn't come and go. Do you know what I mean? You you put your life on the line to get in that ring, and something goes wrong. Um, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, listen, you can get all. If, if it was me personally, no, I wouldn't be stepping in the ring. If someone if someone fails a drug test on the day of the fight, on the day of the way, and I don't care when it is, I'm not getting in. I'm risking my life. Not a chance. Um, Eubanks probably said that knowing half well that it's not going to go ahead and maybe that's just a bit of an ego making him look like a macho man. But it's it's interesting because obviously his dad brought up questions about his son moving down and waiting about brain damage and stuff like that now. Chris Eubank, or Conor Ben has gone and failed the drug test. So I'm glad it's not going ahead. If it isn't, I'm glad it's not going ahead. Absolutely. Well, Kevin, I appreciate your time today. Thanks for your reaction to that. And we'll catch up again soon. All the best for your fight. We'll speak again soon about your fight coming up. Perfect. Hopefully it's this Saturday. <laughs> Absolutely.